Hello, I'm Jamila Masaiva, an international etiquette expert, author of etiquette books and online courses. My books are now available for international worldwide shipment. If you want to order a book, you can do so on my website. I'll link it here as well in the description box below. If you would like to learn more in depth about etiquette, you can join my pre-recorded online courses. One is called Western Formal Dining Etiquette from A to Z. They'll teach you how to get out of the car, walk up the stairs, how to behave at the formal dinner table, everything you need to know in order to prepare for a formal dinner party. Also, you can join the Art of Entertaining at Home, where I will show you how to set up table according to four different seasons, how to host guests at home, as well as my personal candle collection and how to take care of candles. A few weeks back, I did a video on what is my travel handbag and I showed you a little box, my jewelry box. I've actually shown this box quite often and I told you that I carry my jewelry always with me, especially the one that I wear for everyday occasion in my bag in case I need to change up or when I travel I was carried in my handbag and I got a lot of questions about the box and also the contents of the box so I decided to make a video of what is in my jewelry box for everyday occasion or my favorite jewelry for every day. But before I get to show you what's inside this box, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video which is a brand called Idol and they are the most beautiful simplistic minimalistic yet so timeless and chic jewelry brand i personally loved every single piece in their collection it almost feels like i could have uh, handcrafted them myself or designed them myself that's how close i feel it feels to my everyday style it is endorsed by a lot of a-list celebrities like eva longoria jessica alba kaya gerber just the list goes on and on and i feel like it's the perfect brand that combines quality with a good pricing. Um, it has the versatility that you want to find in terms of the color of gold, white gold, rose gold, yellow gold, and you just have the most beautiful and simple pieces that you can then add on or change up and that gives you a versatility of jewelry. So you have studs that you can add on things to and that will just change up the whole model of the jewelry, which makes it so modular. So with that being said, I want to show you some of the pieces that I own from the brand um, and first of all i just want to share to tell you that the packaging was out of this world everything down to the smallest details were all thought through and these are the small diamond studs that i have in white gold um, if you know or you've been following me for a while you know that i love everything that's super simple that can go with everyday look and i love something little on my ears uh, i do love longer earrings as well but it's more when i'm going out so for every day i prefer something that is smaller and lighter on my ears and these are the diamond studs that then i can choose anything from their website in terms of the add-ons and then i can change up the simple studs into something different so that's something i find very creative in the brand so next thing that i own from the bright idol are two ear cuffs i've actually been really into ear cuffs lately i don't want to get my ears extra pierced um, i don't really like piercing i like it on other people but i'm not brave enough or courageous enough to do so i'm rather traditional when it comes to adorning my body with tattoo or piercings i like to keep it the way it is and if i want to experiment i'll go for something like air cuffs or i'll go for some kind of a, um, a tattoo that's erasable uh, so temporary one so the two air cuffs that i have one is in white gold and another is in rose gold and they are to die for i think they just make any look so much more chic and so much more edgy but in a in a more I don't know how to explain it and it's like in a French chic way of edgy and I like to wear it actually not just for every day I like to also wear it in the evening when I have maybe something that is longer and I'll have a smaller ear cuff over here and I think it just makes any look just look so much more cooler than it would without an ear cuff the next item that I own from the brand idol is this white gold necklace with a drop shaped diamond uh, I find it a very beautiful. It's my favorite shape when it comes to diamond, be it rings, earrings, or necklaces. And the most beautiful part of this necklace is that it has, um, I would say, an adjustable chain. So you can actually tie it really, really short. And then in that case, the tear is going to just drop over here, very close to the neck. I find it very difficult in a lot of brands to find something that will fall so short and I find it so beautiful when it falls so short and I can wear it with just a white tee or a little black dress. Um, anything that has an open neck, it just looks 
perfect for everyday occasion as well as for evening wear you can always layer it up with more jewelry so next items if we are still so let me go back actually to earrings uh, because i want to source from other earrings that i own and probably the ones that you have seen a lot on my videos and that is this uh, black uh, and gold uh, Van Cleef and Arpel earrings. Um, they're the smaller ones. Um, they have the ones that are hanging long and these are the smaller ones. Uh, I wear them pretty much every day uh, because I find them very uh, simple yet also very elegant, uh, especially if I'm wearing a lot of rose gold items, then this is the earring to go. Uh, the next earring that I often wear, and you've probably seen also again a lot of pictures with me wearing them, are these Tiffany uh, earrings. They're again very small, as I mentioned earlier. For everyday wear, I like to go with earrings that are smaller. So for everyday professional look, I like when the earrings are smaller. And then if I'm going out and about, then I'll wear something longer, um, maybe a hoop. I love hoops as well. But in this box are the things that I wear for everyday. Um, and that's because every day is work day pretty much. Uh, so uh, I opt for smaller ones like this. Also, uh, another personal favorite is um, there is no brand to these earrings. These are handcrafted or handmade here uh, by a jeweler, by a local jeweler. And these are diamond earrings. Again, they also have uh, a stud that comes off and I can use it either alone or together like that. Um, and uh, this was a gift for, for me from my mother-in-law. So I'm often wearing these as well. Um, and again, when I, I'm wearing something for every day, I try to keep it small on my ears and small as a necklace too. Everything's super delicate, so it's not overpowering my everyday look. Now, let's talk about ear, uh, rings. I'm done with earrings. Let's talk about rings, the ones that you most often see me wearing. And that is my wedding ring or engagement ring and then my wedding band. Uh, the engagement ring is actually, again, handmade here by a jeweler. It's no specific brand, just a diamond that is um, then hand designed to create an engagement ring. And this wedding band is uh, Cartier uh, and it's just a white gold um, wedding band. Next, I have this Messica ring that I'm wearing often in a lot of my videos. Again, this is a very simple one. I find it very uh, elegant. And again, I just uh, fell in love with it many, many years ago. And I feel like this is a kind of a ring that is standing out on its own because it has a very unique design, but it's also not taking away attention from you. Um, it's just simple but different. You'll see a lot of rings. Uh, so next ring that I have is again by Cartier and that is uh, a Trinity ring that has rose gold, white gold and yellow gold, all three together. Um, so I often wear it when I'm mixing metals. I don't really like to mix metals. I prefer to keep them um, in, in one color. So if I'm wearing white, everything is white. If I'm wearing rose, I try to stick to rose. But lately I found that a lot of my um, accessorize might have a couple of different colors so a bag to the shoe to to a belt can have a couple of colors in them so I have tried to experiment with that as well and so if I have something with mixed metal then I'll put on a ring like that and then create a more mixed look with everything the watch the bracelet and the earrings um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean uh, later on I have a lot of rose gold uh, color jewelry because I find rose gold looks best on me as well as white gold but a lot of for some reason a lot of brands don't do a lot of white gold it's often yellow or rose um, so this is again Cartier it is the clue uh, that is in a rose color it's actually the ring that I bought for myself from my first earnings from YouTube so uh, the first paycheck I got I got some more things but um, this was the ring I got myself because I've wanted it for so long and every time I wear it, it it gives me more sense of empowerment like I have earned to get this one and then this is a Tiffany again ring this is a present from my husband for my birthday uh, I think this one is in I want to say in yellow gold um, so this is the one that goes with the earrings most of the jewelry that I own are gifts from family. I rarely ever buy myself gift uh, um, jewelry, but uh, if I do, then I make sure that I invest into something that I can be in my jewelry box forever. So I don't go for trendy pieces, I go for pieces that can last. And Idol is actually one of those, I think, that will stand the test of time in terms of my jewelry box. 
Um, next, I have this ring that is a gift from my mother. It is a rose quartz and it is a rose gold. And this is the ring she gave to my for my birthday. And we actually, I guess, co-designed it. Um, so I asked her to get this kind of a ring and we co-designed it and it's handmade here in Azerbaijan. I have one in, in rose gold and I have one in coral, but I think the rose gold is the one that I wear the most. The last ring from my collection will be this Tiffany knot ring. Uh, it is in rose gold. And again, what I love about Tiffany rings is I can wear them alone, one by one, or I can also stack them up together. And I think either way, they're just so delicate. So even when I stack them up, they don't look like they're overpowering my hand. I have pretty thin fingers and I'm quite delicate when it comes to my arms and hands. So when I wear something really big or chunky, it just takes over my hands and all the attention is on the item rather than on my hands. Uh, and I try to bring attention without making the jewelry the center of the attention. So that's important when you're choosing their jewelry. The other necklace, apart from the idol one, uh, is this one by Cartier. It is, I have it in this little pouch so it doesn't get um, mixed with the white gold one and this is a clue uh, with diamonds and um, also in rose gold what i love about this kind of necklace is that it is so simple on its own uh, in terms of the way it looks on the neck it doesn't overpower the neck and again it brings the attention to the neck without looking like it's the only center of attention um, and this goes well with everyday look as well as if I'm going out um, and if I'm you know wearing an open neck or sometimes with a turtleneck as well it just looks very delicate over top of turtleneck so this is in terms of uh, necklaces now the two of my favorite bracelets lately that you probably can have seen notice a lot on my Instagram is this one it's a rose gold uh, uh, Cartier one. I find it uh, it's very interesting again in terms of its design but then when you wear it on your arm it just looks um, very delicate. I use the word delicate quite often but I don't know what else to use to describe this. It just looks very feminine and very like chic on its own. And the other bracelet that I have and I wear quite often is this Tiffany one. Uh, it's in white gold with uh, white diamonds. I either wear it with a watch or on its own, just on the other hand. Um, I just think that it really um, elevates any kind of everyday look. So with these two bracelets, I often wear either this uh, Cartier watch that I personally have been in love with for the longest time. I think I've saved it on my Pinterest for the longest time until it was gifted to me. I think it was last year or maybe this year, um, by my mother-in-law. So she gave me this watch and um, I really find it very beautiful and super delicate and it has been on my wish list forever. So thanks to mother-in-law for this watch. And the final item is this white gold and yellow gold uh, Rolex watch that is actually my mother-in-law's. Uh, that she was no longer wearing it and she said, you know, take it. I'm not longer wearing it. So it's again a gift from her. And so when I was referring earlier to mixing metals, this white gold and the yellow gold is already mixed in this watch. So when I wear this watch, I can feel free to either wear white gold or rose gold or again yellow gold. So all together it creates a cohesive look. Um, and on the days when I want to wear this Cartier white gold, and, but I also want to wear something like rose gold, I will add on this bracelet, pair them together. And then once I have this on one of my arms, so this is already mixed, then I mix the same with rings. So just to give you an example, I will wear say a Tiffany knot with a Cartier wedding band. So now these two are mixed. And then I will do the same on this arm. I'll go for Trinity Cartier on this hand. And then for earrings, I can go either for white or yellow and or rose. And then I think it just creates a cohesive look because it's mixed all over the place. So that was all about my personal jewelry collection, things that I own and I wear for everyday wear, especially the things that I 
truly adore and truly feel that they are reflective of who I am and my personal style. If you do have any more questions or video suggestions to see my jewelry collection for going out, my jewelry collection for summer, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would like to make more videos if you are interested in this. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. By the way, if you are interested in learning more about etiquette, you can join my etiquette movie and book club on my Patreon page. Every month I publish etiquette analysis of different movies and so far I've done over 30 different movie analysis and by joining it now you can have access to all those movies right now as well with the book club I publish book summaries of the books that I'm reading on a monthly basis so you'll always find something interesting for yourself. So now that you've made up until this point of this video it's time to show the outfit of the video. I have actually thought about this outfit in my mind first, visualized it until I actually recreated it. Um, this is a slip-on dress that I got from a fast fashion brand called Bershka. The jacket is from a brand called Coast. It is something that I think is very unique in the way that it's designed. I've never seen a jacket like that that would have arms open uh, but still covered. Um, I love anything that has this princess-like look so any kind of draped dress or draped jacket I'd love it. I have paired it with the Christian Dior belt uh, that I have put over the waist with a little pearls over here and I think it just adds a little bit more chicness to the look and I have paired it with a pair of heels from Yves Saint Laurent and that is the total look for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye! Oh,